just another late night for me. My work never ends these days. Ugh. Mother! I'm fine! Listen, I have far too much to focus on right now to deal with you. Or a pet. That's right, jerk. You'll never see the light of day. Oh, my dear. How's it going? I thought since you'd been working so hard that you could use a home-cooked meal. And I made your favorite, fish head sliders with newt fries. That's not my favorite. That's your favorite. Now all my work today is ruined. How many times must I tell you? Do not interrupt me when uh, I'm... Uh... Mother, you need... How is she supposed to forgive me when she's unconscious all the time? There must be something I can do to help her, Glummy. If only I could use my dark powers in some way. I might know a way for you to win back your mother's love forever, sir. Tell me, Glumshanks. I'll do whatever it takes to prove to Mother she will never have to doubt my loyalty to her ever again. I think so. But I fear the rest of our world is not. A new darkness spreads across the Skylands. What do you mean, a new darkness? Fire Viper should have never have been able to survive the sub-zero temperatures here in my arctic realm. The last time fire vipers were able to do so was during the Great War. And back then, our true enemy was so lethal that had we not defeated him, we'd all be living in very dark, cold times. Thankfully, we struck down our foe, but suffered great losses in the fight. But you know all about that, don't you, Spyro? I do? A question. I was wondering, what did you mean earlier when you said that I should know all about the losses of the past? I, uh, I don't remember saying that. I mean, even if I did, I was very weak and obviously not in my right mind. To quote the great Penguin, consciousness is a fragile flower blowing in the violent winds of the soul. It means I was talking gibberish. Come, let us join your friends and revel in your victory. I have something that will help you regain the strength above and beyond what you could possibly need to handle your work here in the meditation chamber. Something that will make you more powerful than ever before. I want to give you my dark magic power. Hmm? All right, then. Let's do this. Okay, sir? Ah! Chaos, that was a truly noble and selfless act. I thank you, and I forgive you for betraying me. And you love... Don't push your luck. Right, work in progress. Now it is time to resume my work. We have much graver concerns at our doorstep. A new darkness is approaching our horizon, and I feel our common enemy is on his way back. I've been sensing his presence as well for quite some time. I just didn't want to admit that it could really be true. We both know exactly what he'll seek out when he arrives. Or shall I say, who? <gasps> what are you looking for up there, Spyro? Misplace your wing wax again? Not this time. I'm looking for another book about my heritage. I want to find out more about what happened to my dragon kind, and anytime I bring it up to Eon, he's all... Oh, right. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll help you as soon as I'm done with this, that, and the other. <laughs> it's like he doesn't want to help. Spyro, did you ever consider that maybe he doesn't know what happened to your ancestors? That he really can't help? Maybe. Still, if I'm going to get answers, I have to do it on my own. So, now I'm up here looking for more books on dragons. Ah! It... It's labeled who Chaos's father really is. Me? Now we can be a family. We're ready, if you are. Yeah, no. Huh? Why not? If Glummy is my father... I planted that file because I figured one day you'd get curious about who your daddy really was and go snooping around the castle, and once you found out it was Glumshanks, that would keep you busy until I figured out what you were up to. Sorry, but it's not true. Glumshanks is not your father. 
Okay, stop touching me. Mother, if Glumshanks isn't my, um, you know, that F word you just said, then who is? You don't want to know. And it's best that you never do. Oh, come on. He can't be that awful. You have no idea. What was that? Oh, uh, sprinklers. Probably just turned on outside. You know, you know how the pipes always sound funny when they do. Well, see you two in the morning. Do you hear that, Glummy? If my real father is as horrible as Mother says, I simply must find him. And I won't rest until I do. You couldn't have said he was a dog walker? A shoe salesman? The ice cream man? Pipe down! You don't sound evil at all. Just like a guy at the all-you-can-eat buffet who maybe should have skipped going back for thirds. My power grows. I shall not rest until I am free from this place. <sighs> then I guess I won't rest either. Creep. Rod Slive, Gide Cool, Reveroff, Ero Mekno, Den Rooter, Rewalk. Oh. <laughs> My dream room is so boring tonight. Where is everybody? I've given them all the night off, Dream Patcher. Huh? Who is that? Someone with great dark power. Powerful enough to invade your impenetrable dream realm. And I'm here to offer you a deal. <gasps> <gasps> guys, wake up. Guys, I need to tell you something. Guys? <laughs> oh, good. You're all awake. So check it out. I know where Cassandra's castle is. What? How? This gross red-eyed guy came to me in my dream room and Wait, said... Wait, gross red-eyed guy? Yup. His name was Strykor. Strykor. Right. He told me to tell you, specifically, that he's back. Is that so? Well, Doom Raiders never fear this Strykor is merely another evil overlord wannabe who is nothing more than a speed bump on our road to world domination. How do we find Cassandra's castle? He said he could lead me there, because that's where he is, too. Excellent. Then we shall take out Cassandra and Strykor in one fell swoop. Where have you been, Dreamcatcher? Why haven't you brought the Tomb Raiders to Cassandra's castle? <laughs> No more games, girl. If you do not help me, you will pay dearly. No one betrays Strykor! Dreamcatcher, what's wrong? It was so scary. There were these red eyes and this voice. And he said his name was Strykor and... and it was just a nightmare. Just... Elf? Is everything okay? I think so, but I wanted to let you know that Dreamcatcher was shook up after a pretty ugly dream she had last night. Ugly? How so? She was scared when she woke up and said there was some evil presence in her dream realm. I think his name was... Strykor? Hmm, uh, well, never heard of him. Uh, but it sounds like nothing more than a crazy nightmare, uh, just as you suspected. Well, uh, back to the big game. Let's go, sheep herders. I'm off to wish the team luck. Only one thing could scare you into that kind of sad, begging old man. And his name is Strykor. <gasps> Spyro, I need to talk to you. It's about Master Eon. I told him about this nightmare Dreamcatcher had last night about somebody named Strykor. When I mentioned that name, Eon reacted like he knew who he was, then said he didn't. But when Golden Queen said Strykor's name again, I saw it on Eon's face. He knows who he is, and he lied to me about it. What are you getting at, Elf? If he lied about this Strykor guy, maybe you've been right all along. He could be hiding things from you about where your ancestors have gone. Or hiding more important stuff from all of us. We eat. Let's talk. Chaos, I'm finally ready to tell you who you really are. Where your powers come from. Where you got your birthmark. <laughs> but you're going to have to sit still, as I... Very well, kid. Give you your powers back, too, if you're wriggling all over the place. I want him destroyed so that I alone will rule the Skylands. <laughs>